The original recipes from the cheese were all created by Miyoko herself. She founded this company uh, herself being a chef, uh, having a lot of vocations, but I think uh, her idea of taking this vegan uh, has, has definitely paid off. So she created the products all herself in her kitchen and she saw that it's popular and then she started to commercialize it. Miyoko started base, basically with cashews. So uh, all the cheeses that we have today, our cheese wheels are cashew based, but our uh, research and development, our uh, innovation goes far beyond just cashews. Uh, there is a lot of uh, new source that we're looking at, and I think I can share you, uh, with you already that we are doing a lot with watermelon seeds right now. Watermelon seeds uh, for their properties being high in protein, uh, even on a calorie basis, uh, higher than some milks, um, uh, uh, is, has lent itself to, to a lot of new innovations. But uh, there's, there's plenty of other uh, protein sources going on that we're also looking at, but I can't tell you just everything now. We pride ourselves that we make cheese out of milk. So whatever the source, uh, we are actually first making a milk out of that. So whether it's cashews, whether it's watermelons, in the two examples I just gave you. And then we use uh, traditional uh, methods of making cheese. So then we take that milk, we ferment the milk, uh, and then we finish the milk. And as you have seen, we also age then the cheeses uh, until we have the properties, uh, the moistures, the... the nutritional content that we are looking for and definitely also the flavor profile. So um, we are trying to really be as uh, as crafty, uh, like a craft, uh, uh, making the cheese as it's been tradition forever. Uh, we are not, we are not plant-based, we are making cheese out of plant milk. And our mission is, is not to fight necessarily with the daily products out there but to add variety so that means we are we are uh, we are making our way to be on every cheese plate so you know you have cheese plates where you have cow milk goat milk uh, sheep's milk and now we are adding one more item and that is going to be cheese made out of plant milk we are constantly working on new products uh, and a lot of them don't even make it to the market, uh, uh, but I just shared with you, we are very excited about our watermelon seed products that we are working on right now. And hopefully we are getting to a stage where, uh, also we have a liquid mozzarella, as you might be familiar with. So it's a, it's a totally new revolutionary method of how to make a pizza. Not just pizza, you can also make other products with it. Um, uh, like a lasagne uh, uh, and also f find its way in some, some other uh, Mexican dishes, for instance, we've seen a lot of, of people using it for. Uh, but we're also working on cottage cheese. Uh, and, and again, we're looking at all different protein sources, but in this one we are going to uh, look, make it out of watermelon seeds. And we have a lot of other things in the pipeline, but again, can't really share that with you. We are making a cheese that has nutritional value, that it's made traditionally, so it's good for you, it has protein. Uh, it's not just an empty product, meaning purely made out of oil and starch. Um, but you asked why would you choose it against conventional cheese? Um, I think we, but we, we, we want to expand uh, the offering in the categories. We hope we can convince people by, hey, it's good for you, it's uh, it's good for the planet uh, and maybe you know they're willing to tr give it a try um, and i think it's it just adds to the assortment um, we again we are not fighting uh, that like we want to convince people to get away from dairy products we just want to offer one more item on the plate